Billy Bumble's Bargain by John Hartley Young Billy Bumble bout a pig, so a of heard th neighbors say, and mony a mile he had to trig one swelt in summer day. But Billy didn't care a fig, he said he'd mock it pay. He knew it wore a bargain, and he cared net who said nay. He browted hoam to plew croft loin, but what wore his? Surprised to find all th neighbors standing a ght, we open moths and eyes, by gow, said Billy, to hissen, this pig must be a prize. And th women cried, good gracious fout but isn't it a size? Then th chaps said, Billy, where's ta bin? Whatever has ta brout, that surely isn't creature, lad, ah heard em say thought. Bout, it looks more like a donkey, does ta think, at it con rot? But Billy cracked his carter's whip, and answered em w-i, nout, and rate right enough it wore a pig, if all they say is true, its length wore five foot eight or nine, its height wore four foot two, and when it coomed to th, pig h-o-i-l door, he couldn't get it through, unless it went don ov its knees, and that it wouldn't do. Then Billy's mother coom to help, and hit it w-i, a mop, but thear it wore, and thear it seemed determined it, you'd stop. But all at once it gave a grunt, and opened sitch a shop, and finding a g-h-t, at it wore licked, it louped clean over th top. His mother then shoe shook her heed, and pulled a woeful face. William, shoe said, do shouldn't bring sitch things as theus to th place. Ah who op de ardent gooin to sink t mother i, disgrace, but if de buy sich things as the ace om feared it will be th case. Nah, mother, never freet, said Bill, it's one om gooin to feed, it's rather long ith, legs, ah. No, but that's because oath, breed, if it's a trifle long ith, gruin, why hang it? Never heed, ah no it's net a beauty, but it's cheap, it is, indeed. Well time, I'll try, his mother said, and time at last did try, for never sich a hungry bee east had been fed in a sty. What's th, wait oath, long-legged pig, Billy? War. Th, neighbor's daily cry. Ah can it tell yo yet, said Bill, all weigh it by and by. And hard poor Billy persevered, but all to no avail, it swall out all th, made it could get, and wad ha swall out th, pale. But Billy tuck good care to stand oath, tother side oath, rail. But fat it didn't gain as mish as what, you'd gree as its tail. Pack after pack o' mail he bout, until he'd bout fourteen. But net a bit o' difference ith, pig war to be seen. Its legs and snout war just as long as iver they had been. Poor Billy conted rib by rib and heaved a sigh between. One day he mixed a double feed, and put it into th trough. De greedy luckin be east, he said, all. Other stall thee off, or else all brust tea hide, that is unless, at its to toff. And then he left it wall he when his mucky clo is to doff. It weren't long before he coomed to see ha matters stood, he looped at th trough, and thear it wore, five simple bits o' wood, as clean scraped a ght as if it had ne'er held a bit o' food, de slotch. Said Bill, ah do believe thought ate me if de could. Next day he browed a butcher, for his patience had been tried, and w-i a very deal to do, its legs w-i, ruop they tied, and then his shinin' knife he drew and stuck it in its side, it mud ha been a crocodile, by th, thickness o v its hide. But blue it began, to flow, and then its long-legged race wore run. They scalded, scraped, and hung it up, and when it all wore done, Falk coom to guess what weight it wore, and mony a bit o fun they had, for Billy's mother said, it ought to weigh a ton. Billy wore walkin' up and don, doin' nout but fume and fidge. He looked at th pig, then don he. Set, i th nook oath, window ledge, he saw th back buon wore stickin' a g h t, like th, thin end o via wedge, it looked like an owd blanket hung over th, winter hedge. His mother Ruard and th, women sight, but th chaps did nout but laugh. Poor Billy he could hardly bide, to sit and hear their chaff, then up he jumped, and off he run, but where Falk never knew, and what wore th, worst, when mornin' coom, th, deed pig had mizzled too.
Th chaps wandered Th country far and near, until they stalled Thurson. But neither Billy nor his pig cum ho o amagian sin then. But oft Falk say, I th deod oath, neat, near Shibden's ruined mill, the ghost o Billy and his pig may be seen runnin' still. Moral. Yo Falk, at's tempted to go a by be careful what yo do. Do on be persuaded, cos, it's cheap, for if yo do yo'll rue. Do on think it's lowerin' to your sen to ax a friend's advice, else like poor Billy's pig, tea may be bout dear at ony price.